Jay Drone here. What is going on, guys? We got the Pontentic Dreamer Mini. It's not the big one. Doesn't have brushless motors, but it is the Mini. Uh, the camera on this does look decent. It's going to be actuate up and down, I would think, via a roller. Uh, let's see. That's probably for speed. There, roller. Boom. You got rollers up top. This is going to move that up and down. It might move left to right. No, it's not going to move left to right. It just has bushings dampering it. So what we're going to do in this video, we're not even going to show you this in flight. We might show you it in flight um, briefly. But what we're going to concentrate on is how that camera looks directly to the app. This does have an SD card on the back of the camera. That's what that slot is for right there. But we're not testing that now. That'll be another video. I'm going to split this up to about three to four different videos instead of just doing normally what I do where, bam, you can have it all in one video. Now let's concentrate on small things first. So we're going to see how that looks through the cell phone recording. So this is a screen recording. What you're looking at is what you will see as soon as you start the app. You got a bunch of notifications, what everything is. You can start clicking on stuff. We're going to slowly go through this and uh, not slowly. I guess we're going to quickly go through this. That way uh, we don't take up too much time here. But uh, all in all, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm really impressed with the flight of this drone. The camera quality of the drone is pretty impressive too. I'll touch on all that as we get through this entire video and i've already tested some other things and i got another video already on top but check it out we're gonna go ahead and uh get this thing in the air in a second but this is going to be a still test this is going to be look at the quality right now then i'm gonna walk in front of it you can see a little laggy quite a bit laggy as i was walking walking through it bam i'm standing in front of the sun i'm gonna turn my one leg towards here that has a rick and morty on it so as far as clarity goes, do not judge this camera yet. Don't judge this camera yet. I promise you don't judge this camera yet. So again, we set it over here. And again, a little bit better over here. There's a huge power line uh, with a capacitor on the other side. Not making excuses because again, this thing in flight is dope. I promise you this thing in flight is dope. Uh, as far as flyability, as far as camera quality goes um, and durability. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take off like a boss here, despite we have heavy wind, and we're going to go ahead and take this uh, up and out. We're going to get some great footage off. Look at the footage. It's clean, right? It's definitely a clean camera. Uh, as far as flyability goes, this thing's pretty darn good, unless unless you decide to take it sky high and some uh, pretty serious wind right at this level is right about where you should keep it uh especially if you're dealing with some high wind because as you're about to see right here we're gonna encounter a little bit of issues boom i was fighting i was trying i really was trying i didn't want to get this up here did not want to get it stuck so what you're looking at here is the screen capture which actually looks better than what you just watched, which was the recorded. Now, we are not using an SD card, so that was just Wi-Fi recorded, but it's pretty cool that the screen capture is much clearer than the save. So that's, that's something to definitely be aware of. Maybe you're flying around, maybe you didn't take a picture, but you knew you fly by something and you want to grab the still, because again, here we go. Here we go. J drone's flying way too high wind, and three two, one, boom. So this ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> I've been up there before. I'm really not looking forward to going up there. You see what type of wind we're dealing with. Um, if you have trees that are blowing like this, I'll uh, figure out what the wind is and I'll incorporate it in the video. Don't fly this much higher than five to 10 feet. Uh, where will I guess I'll go up and get it. All right, guys, do you see the only thing wrong with this after that heavy crash? The blades didn't shut off. They stayed on for a long period of time. So be wary of that. Propeller's bent. It's bent terribly. Simple fix. Bend it down. Obviously, you're going to have less better camera quality because that's not going to be balanced, but I'm pretty sure I could get it pretty close. Ideally, if you want best camera quality after crashing like that or going into a tree or whatever, change your propeller. They gave you extra ones. That's why they give you extra ones. So we are off again. This thing is taking a beating and uh, it's still going. So right here, we are actually going to fly it a little bit um, and then we're going to crash it again. This is a straight up dummy test on this drone. It was not done purposely, but because it was done, you can know if you get this for somebody and they don't know how to fly and they smack it against a couple walls, hit it against a tree, what have you, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. I guarantee it. This thing is super durable. 
obviously if you fly into stuff constantly and the motors don't shut down you're going to strip gears and you are going to screw up your motors greatly um even burn them out just because i don't think this has a fail safe features when they are um binded up that they do stop because i seen them kept spinning when i was in uh stuck up in the tree as you can see i'm cruising around man i'm cruising i'm telling you dude this thing is a flyer this thing is 100 percent a flyer uh i absolutely enjoyed flying this like right here you're gonna see another durability test it was still fun it was really fun all right guys i'm done with this uh so this is extremely extreme and i'm not done with it i'm done with it for today uh we will get a hat cam on i should have had a hat cam for this dude this thing smoked the side of my house by my basketball court by the left or i the prop up front here uh basketball court but dude it smoked it like it hit it hard um i don't i don't even see any scuff marks man uh my only complaint about this is the battery every time you crash even uh well not so much in the tree so when it was in the tree the battery was still in it but when i knocked it down and it hit the ground the battery popped out same thing with uh when it just hit my house battery popped out uh that can save you and help you if you do lose it in the field and find it days later your battery is probably going to be good but for a uh a rescue mission where you have to rely on the camera which i've shown in the past which again the camera is pretty good um you could like you can visually find out the area if you know the area really well by the camera and fpv but if that if that pops out boom then you are blind uh fortunately even though this did pop out i was recording video and it did save which is awesome i was worried i was like oh dude i just had a great flight with this dude this is brushed this is so toy it's ridiculous but it's sporty i promise you it's sporty we will get a hat cam on we will show you this thing in the air um we will also get an sd card in it and show you exactly how good that camera is but there was one person who said they had uh, gotten this for christmas or are getting it for christmas can you please do a video on this before christmas this is the first video i'm going to try to knock out two or three more videos for you if you haven't subscribed smash the subscribe button questions comments concerns put it down below i definitely get at you